ministers meet at the SEO summit. Those are the latest visuals coming in from day two of the SEO summit, which is taking place, remember, in Goa. And uh, on your screens, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar, uh, all set to once again welcome the dignitaries. But yes, uh, we've been tracking the latest. Yesterday, we of course spoke of the kind of bilaterals that took place on the sidelines. This is a two-day SEO meet that's taking place in Goa. And of course, on the agenda are several measures uh, which are aimed at boosting cooperation in trade and commerce, security, social cultural affairs among all the SCO members. Uh, so yes, as far as the meeting uh, today is concerned, uh, it's going to be preparing the agenda for the grouping summit which is to take place in July, including measures to boost cooperation in security, trade and commerce. And uh, on your screens, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar, now shortly uh, him along with his Russian counterpart are going to be holding that all important bilateral that is being spoken of the last so many days. Uh, we're also being told that as far as uh, this meeting is concerned, there are certain decisions, proposals that will be signed by the two. Uh, if we talk about the specifics, we're going to go across to our colleagues in just a bit to uh, track more on what perhaps could be discussed at length, but uh, the meeting by and large we're being told is going to be uh, dealing with the stock taking exercise, clearing house for proposals that are before the SEO, all of that is going to be taken up. Remember, interestingly, the developments that have taken place in Russia may also surface. India's intervention is also being viewed very, very closely with regards to the latest allegations that have been leveled by Kremlin against Kiev. In that sense, whether or not India will break its silence, whether or not there will be a public statement. Uh, to that effect that will come to the fore from the SEO meet that's currently underway remains to be seen. So we're reviewing that very, very closely, but this is day two of the SEO meet. And on your screens, you do see uh, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jesh Shankar. Uh, and there you see him greeting uh, the dignitaries on the stage at the SEO meet When you, Of course, uh, there are a couple of other discussions that will take place and Rishabh is also joining us as he continues to track the latest. Uh, we keep up with the live visuals of what we're picking up on day two. Rishabh, over to you. So here at the venue where SCO foreign ministers meeting is happening, as you can see, uh, the, uh, foreign mini uh, the visiting foreign ministers have started coming in, and Indian National Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar is greeting them one after another. T t today uh, on the table would be 15 key decision agendas that will be discussed among the foreign ministers. These key agendas have come from uh, the various levels to reach this table, and after today's meeting these 15 uh, agenda points will be the decision agenda points would be fed into the leaders summit that is scheduled in the national capital in the month of July. The dates are yet not officially announced, but in the month of July, these leaders of all the member nations of uh, SCO will meet in national capital, which will include Prime Minister Narendra Modi, which will be headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi for that matter. Then there will be President Xi Jinping, President Vladimir Putin, Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif, and others are expected to be part of that meeting as well in July. So today's meeting will finalize the agenda for the Leaders Summit that is scheduled in the month of July from here. And you can see uh, behind me that one after another the foreign ministers have walk, started walking in. Uh, at around 10.15 uh, a.m. we'll have a group photograph of the ministers, first the member states and then with all the observers as well as the uh, dialogue partners. Remember there are currently four observing um, uh, partners of SCO which include uh, Iran, Belarus, uh, and others, and there are nine uh, or dialogue partners as well uh, in SCO. So there will be a second photograph where you'll have all uh, the members of uh, dialogue partners as well as observer states as well. And then the discussions will begin on the table, as we mentioned, will be 15 decision agendas broadly related to counterterrorism, connectivity in the region, and other regional issues. Okay, Rishabh, what about? One, if you could quickly sum it up for us, interesting uh, meetings took place. S.J. Shankar, of course, met uh, with his counterparts from China, from Russia, Uzbekistan, all of this on the sidelines of the SCO meet. But a quick update on what really transpired on day one. 
see, uh, there were two important bilaterals on day one. First, India-Russia, where India and Russia discussed bilateral issues and how both the countries can together approach for a better global standing. Uh, UN, BRISC, SCO, G20, all these were uh, discussed at that meeting. Also, both the countries maintained that that the, the relationship that India and Russia holds for decades should continue the way it is. Both have been formidable partners for each other at various times. Apart from that, you was also discussed between India and Russia where India maintains its stand that everything should be solved diplomatically. This is not an era of war, uh, of war. Uh, something uh, taken out from what Prime Minister said in Samarkand back in September uh, 2022. Uh, in India-China uh, bilateral, it was very interesting to see that India and China, when they last met, the foreign ministers, when they last met on the sidelines of G20 national capital in the month of February, External Affairs Minister said that the India-China relationship is abnormal. But this time around, if you read the handouts that have come in from both the foreign ministries, they, uh, they are better worded and peace and tranquility are the major words that have been used in both the sides of statement, which shows that there is a betterment in the relationship, though it's yet not very normal. The border issue still remains the focus point for both the countries and India has made it clear that situation cannot be normal if the situation at LAC is not normal. Unless and until the numbers of uh, soldiers at LAC are decreased, the things will not be normal at uh, uh, the diplomatic level as well. Then in, with Uzbekistan the major talks were around Central Asia, Afghanistan and how things were uh, in Afghanistan when last week these countries met as a grouping of uh, neighbors of uh, Afghanistan and in the evening there was a cultural night where all the visiting foreign ministers were hosted by uh, external affairs minister S. Jay Shankar. Uh, at the uh, cultural night we saw Indian culture being displayed, there were songs like Natu Natu, there were songs like Mera Juta Hai Japani, and also the food and all depicting the various and diverse culture of India as well as SCO. So that was an informal meeting, and from that informal meeting, today these leaders will sit on a table and all the hard talks will begin. Okay, and now we're being told that essentially the meeting things are going to revolve around 15 key points. So 15 key points will be discussed uh, including issues of regional connectivity, common prosperity and that's exactly what you're pointing out, isn't it? That this is exactly what will shape the agenda ahead of the summit in July. Definitely. Uh, see, uh, the major agenda, if you see the SEO charter, SEO charter clarifies that bilateral issues should not come in way of uh, something that SEO wants to do. And that's the reason that, uh, you know, India, China or India, Pakistan will not surface on SEO table. Uh, rather, counter-terrorism, connectivity, regional prosperity will be on the table today. So the 15th agenda will broadly revolve around these issues, uh, counter-terrorism, financing, uh, you know, there are also uh, talks of process where uh, the countries can uh, trade in their national currency. For example, India and Russia can uh, trade in ruby rupee or India and China can, uh, you know, trade in rupee yuan. Uh, that is uh, what it is in process. That, uh, as of now, is not on table. It is a process that is being discussed. Uh, the teams haven't reached a negotiating level uh, on that front. But counter-terrorism, connectivity and region prosperity is something that the countries have come uh, to a point and that will be discussed on the table today further okay. to be fed in to the leaders' well, summit in the July. The external affairs minister so far has not held back uh, in putting out the message straight. Interesting to watch out what's going to transpire all through today on day two of the SEO meet that's taking place in Goa. Rishab, keeping us on top of all the live updates coming in. Rishab, thank you for that. We'll keep coming back to your short break for now.